Welcome back, everybody, to Fenton Forest Farm with me, Seawoody So, here on what is the continuation of our Friday sale day. It is Friday afternoon. I'm just quickly going to wrap these bales and we can get these picked up and uh, transported to wherever's offering us the best price for them. Uh, the corn is finished harvesting. The harvester is back at the farm along with the uh, Roadrunner, the truck and trailer, he's also back at the farm, so he's ready to transport whatever crop we are planning on selling today. Um, there's also a couple of little additions that I've, I've done. Um, I've sold the Fent MT, MT1, or whatever it was, the tract vent because it um, just has seems to have issues at the minute like I say I, I don't I think Stevie's doing an update for the fence which he plans to release this coming weekend um, so we'll have to see how that goes whether that kind of fix it but basically it's just it was just causing us some issues when we was trying to do the um, the trailer, the unloading of the harvester with it, it just kept getting itself in a knot. And it's not the first time it's done that, it does that with other implements as well. So, sold it, and um, whilst I was at the store, I got a, a great deal on a X demonstration class tractor. It's very similar to the one we used for the um, compacting of the silage up at the BGA. So I uh, I took the offer up, traded the fent in and uh, took that. So I got a good deal on that, with it being the next demonstration model as well. And then obviously with the part exchange of my fent, very good price and then also while I was there up at the uh, store I've uh, trekked myself to a New Holland um, tractor a big New Holland <laughs> 9 series um, which should be um, being delivered to the farm as I speak so we'll be, be able to go and check on that in a little while um, both the class and the uh, New Holland are going to be delivered by the shop for me whilst I'm currently busy doing all this sort of stuff um, so we'll go get stuff sold we'll do a couple of um, grain runs or crop runs somewhere we'll obviously get rid of the bales and then um I want to get onto the placeables that I mentioned in the in the last episode. There's a couple of things I want to add to the farm, which will helpfully also help to generate us some income and give me a bunch more stuff to micromanage on the farm, along with the animals. Should be good. So yeah. Two o'clock on the Friday afternoon in game, and well, it's going to be push. It's going to be push. It's going to be tight today. It's going to be a tight episode, I think, time-wise, to get stuff delivered. I also obviously need to get field uh, nine now ploughed following the corn harvest. Um, all the other fields are reseeded and fertilised and all that jazz. Apart from the canola field, that needs to be, um, that does need to have manure or slurry spread on it and then I can cultivate it and then we can get the uh, um, next crop harvested, uh, sown on that shall I say. I also need to probably get some crop put in the um, 
pig food silo. Probably need to do a, a one trailer load of uh, beets or p potatoes. Probably a trailer load of each. Would be good. And then I can start fermenting um, some pig food. <laughs> get some pig food. Getting squished, did it? And then we can get that scooped up, emptied out, and then uh, get some of that stored in the silo, and then we can feed the pigs, obviously when we need to feed the pigs. Um, there is a mixing wagon for the pig food, which I will probably acquire somewhere down the line. Probably not going to acquire it yet because one of the real big purchases I want to make is uh, I like to get field seven well, that's going to cost quite a bit of money <laughs> field seven ain't going to be cheap Four hundred and fifty-five thousand euros to buy that field and get it installed. <laughs> um, Corn-wise, um, I think we've got about three hundred thousand liters off of field nine. Um, it wasn't the biggest of yields, but it worked, kind of worked for us. It'll give us a little bit to maintain the pigs with. So all the bales are now done. Because yeah, field, field seven is a huge field, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't tell me how big it actually is on there. Um, excuse me, sneezing. But I think it's field seven, I think is bigger than field nine. And then what I would plan to do is field seven and nine would become my like corn and sunflower fields and now I'd literally just be putting corn and sunflower on those fields exclusively it does kind of pose a problem because then obviously we have to uh, plow after every single harvest of that crop type And then we we reclaim fields like fields like one, five, two for doing our other crops like our soybeans, canola, our wheat, barley and oats. Farm what? New expanded area, which is saying gonna be getting the placeables in two during this episode. Uh, bale trailer doesn't live in here, does it? It lives. Bale wrapper, should I say, not bale trailer. Park him into there. Right, let's get out. Our new vehicles have been delivered, I believe. Yep, here they are. So where's our, our class? 5000 Zerion. Which, as I say, we already have experience of for using for silage compacting, but I'm going to use it for doing other jobs around the farm as well. And then we've got the 
big New Holland T9. Awesome bit of kit this is. Tracks, twin wheels. Hopefully it should be able to do a lot of the jobs the fence did, the ploughing, cultivating, stuff like that, but without um, some of the other issues um, that it, it, it sort of got into. Right, so we need to do fertilising on field two. We need to get that started. So actually, I'm going to break this bad boy in straight away by having in manure spread field two falls. Yeah, got a nice deal on this this tractor as well. And it should be great for us. You got some manure on there on your conveyor that I can have. Just to top this back up. Oh excellent. Right through some of these tree uh, treed areas. I'm gonna do fertilizing. Do seeding, you're gonna do field two. Of course, and you are going to first waypoint, you're gonna drive the course. Deactivated when possible. And all that jazz malarkey. So our new fancy. Oh, he's, he's wasting a lot of manure there. Get that spread, then, as I say, we can come down, get this field cultivated. And, uh, hey presto, Bob's your uncle. Right. Crops then, what are we going to sell today? What have we got? Well, we've got a bit of wheat, which we can get rid of too. Uh, rain mill by the looks of it. Right. So we'll go get that done. Have a run over to the grain mill with a, a full trailer load of wheat. Oh, I haven't replaced the auger wagon yet that I sold as well previously. Um, I did try the big Bergman thing, but that was just as problematic trying to refill the cedar. So right now, I don't have either a small trailer or a method of being able to um, refill cedar's planters when they're in the field. <laughs> Get this loaded up. Get a full trailer load taken. So we'll get a full trailer load of wheat taken and sold. Need to kind of head 
upwards. Careful not to tip the truck over. Let's take advantage. We've got 40 kilometer an hour cruise control set for when we've been in course plane. Let's stick with 40 kilometers an hour as that tends to be a good speed. It's a shame you can't get trailer boards on the Roadrunner to match the trailer and also maybe give it a little bit more stability. One thing's for certain, looking at that truck, we're going to have to give it a, a mighty fine clean after today's episode. Going. Up here. Obviously, we need to swing by the BGA to pick up our trailer, auto load trailer, to come and get all these bales and then see where it is we need um, I may have possibly taken the wrong turn here. Because now I'm heading away from where I want to be again. At some point, I will, probably, unless someone's already done it, and has made them publicly available, it would be nice to get some course play courses set up for like our truck so he can run off to the different sale points automatically without my assistance. Up here now. Get to the mill. Don't often we don't very frequently come to this area of the map, do we? On the on the rear side. Oh, these sail points tend to be a bit iffy for trucks. Anyway, let's get that sold. Work out what we're going to sell next. Um, <laughs> sugar beets, perhaps, too. East. Do we do soybeans? Soybeans is probably going to be a good thing. It looks like Fenton Grain Elevator East, 1,766. Let's do the soybeans. They'll make us the most money. I don't really want to do sell sugar beets and potatoes because we really do need those to feed the pigs. soybeans instead and that's not a bad thing 
We've already sold the horses today, which got us a bit of money. Sell the rest of them, actually. Past the shop. Which did me, a, as I say, a fantastic deal on those two new machines. Which is great for me. Great for us. Because that means we get two new big machines to do um, field work with. And pull trailers and stuff for us if we need to get trailers. Rain elevator east, which is uh, over there somewhere. So we'll go grab the soybeans. 120,000 litres of those will be pretty much okay. So we've got the um, silage bales on field 10 to pick up. Get rid of. Don't know whether to sell them at the BGA or maybe the animal supplies. Don't know who. Well, again, I'll check the silage pricing. We've also obviously got a lot of silage in that um, bunker up at the BGA. We could also do with uh, getting rid of. Keep driving the wrong way. Got all them pallets of eggs as well. They've got to go somewhere. Um, soybeans, because we've got nearly 5,000 litres, 500,000 litres of those. So silage. <laughs> Looks like it's the BGA by a dollar. Okay, BGA wins that by a dollar then for silage bales. This is a grain elevator east. We'll run up to the BGA, grab the trailer, or I load trailer thing, grab the bales, uh, come back down here, grab the eggs, take the trailer back to the BGA, park it up, pick up this trailer, bring this one back to the farm. <laughs> Um, see where we're at then and then like I say we want to be getting into the placeables I don't really want to do too much time in this video doing the running about and stuff obviously the BGA selling the um, silage bales isn't gonna pay out till midnight so we're not going to get the benefit of that right away, unless... Seeing as I've got to come to the farm anyway, and there's only a dollar difference in the price, I chuck it through the farm windrow. That might be the best price, because then we get the money straight away. And then we know at the end of the episode just how successful Friday sale day has been. Whether or not we need to... Um, We need to buy next 
equipment wise, machinery wise. What's next for us? Cotton baler, I think. Possibly. Yeah, I've got to go up here. I so I think yeah, cotton baler is probably something we'll be going for. Not, yeah, and then we could start planting and harvesting cotton, which again will make us quite a nice bit of money. But again, much like with potatoes and sugar beets and everything, it's a uh, time consuming job to do cotton. I'm not going to break a million. Oof. around because we can't get out that way right, up to the BGA grab the trailer In which case I'm probably best off but in this machine this trailer back at the farm because I'll probably bring the auto load trailer back and keep at the farm anyway I know I've left it up at the BGA because I thought it make a bit more sense to leave it up there but then I realized and remembered it doesn't out let's see can I get through here Trees make it awfully difficult to see what you want to see. No. Not good. I've got the uh, foot wedged. <laughs> Won't be an episode though would it some would say without me getting the vehicle stuck on something so potatoes sown and planted uh, sugar beets sown and planted new big beastie boy field up there is ready for um, that's ready to be cultivated now with manure spread Thanks to our new New Holland tractor. Up to the uh, last, I'll probably have to do the cultivating of that field. Leave that there. Up to the BGA now then. Grab the uh, trailer. Bring it down. We're at a million, so I've got plenty of money to buy, I think, the purchasables I want. And anyone who's followed the recent um, mod hub in-game mod hub um, updates, mod releases, will kind of know what placeables I'm going to be installing. And anyone who saw what Stevie released yesterday evening will also know what um, placeables I'm going to be putting down <laughs> and adding. Generate quite a bit more income. Over time. Now, where do, which way round did I park the trailer? This way. Oh. 
got that loaded. Oh, we will have that loaded. Let's have a quick look in here. Ooh. Open this end as well. Right, so we've got plenty of silage. I've forgotten how much was in here. Um, nearly a million litres, wasn't it? Take them to the farm windrow. I always want to cut through there, but I keep forgetting that uh, we're not allowed to because of the train. <laughs> we obviously want odd straw bale in amongst this lot, which doesn't make too much of a difference. Obviously the downside to obviously selling these at the farm windrow rather than the BGA is we're not going to get the digest date in exchange. That's not a problem. Well, I hope it's not a problem. I must remember at some point there is a lot of digest date now sat in the uh, BGA. I need to get that ship down to the main farm and then from there start putting it pumping some of it through the uh, heating plant then that will make me a bit more money which will help us to acquire more fields Odd straw bale, can't do anything about that. Thirty bales, that's a little bit less than last time. get last time was it 36 something like that off of this field i suppose i will get a little bit less because i obviously don't fertilize now i don't fertilize the field between um harvesting which is uh this trailer is that is bad it tips Make sure you strip any speed off the trailer before you uh, change direction with it. to the wind row which is well actually it's directly in front of the, the house it's just rather awkward to get to <laughs> of course is this sell point because I've been stupid enough park a tractor right in the way why did I park back in its proper shed why did I park it there Ooh. 
not like there's anything in this shed. <laughs> well, there is. There's the combine header and uh, corn header that I've put back now. That cedar's in the wrong place. I'll shift them later. Uh, good. Right, so now we need pallets, don't we? Pallets, there we go. Because I need all the chicken ones. There isn't a lot of wool. But I'll take that anyway. And eggs. Wanna be Grain Elevator East again. Right, okay. Grain elevator east, which means we can take a trip through the spinnery. Get rid of the, uh, the wall, of which there's only two pallets anyway. And then we'll get rid of the eggs, and then we can get the placeables placed. And then our Friday sale day will be done. Which means then at the weekend, <laughs> I'll be uh, sorting out the placeables, getting them into a position whereby they are working for me. New Holland shifted as well in a minute. Let the class start doing its cultivating. For um, we have a couple of pallets of wool for the spinnery. Perfect. So a little bit from the wool sails. And then we'll go get this last little bit now from the uh, egg sales. They will be um, complete, or at least the harvest, the, the harvest portion and sale part of the day. The fact that we've got over a million in the bank is nice. Gradually keep making them profits. work mode still doesn't quite do what I want it to do does it with the bales with the pallets.
what the trigger point is just a little bit too low. If you hold them in the air at the right height, they sell. Get this back to the farm. That's it. 1.2 million. After today's sale, we just only sold two lots of uh, grain and croppage. Um, because I really do kind of need to hang on to the rest of it <laughs> for the animals. Especially the um, beets and potatoes, because we're going to need a lot, a ton of that. Like I say, I need to make some pig food. It does mean I'm going to have to find some kind of trailer or auger wagon or something that I can use to get... Um, recently installed a new path road system next to the horse pen the show jumping course what load trailer can live there right let me just get the new holland out of the way you're full of water that's no good to me Stop driving. Have to fill this up with manure again. <laughs> Ready for our next harvesting. Next fertilizing session. I'm almost tempted, you know, to go and sling some on the grass. I know manure doesn't really affect grass fields, does it? Um, well, it shouldn't do. We'll just make sure we get the uh, yield up. because we've definitely got a couple of bales less off. Job done. You can take up residence in the old fence, former home. Cultivating field coming up. Oh. 
field work unfold. Good to me. He can do that, right. We want to be into miscellaneous. Right, what do we want? We want... Tomatoes, green lettuces. Right, want some bees. Bees. So, one B. Two bees. Right. Uh, now, where did Stevie? Have I enabled Stevie's greenhouses? What are the under? <laughs> Cat agreed as he put them in. Sheds? That would be in sheds. No. Animal pens? No. In here then. Ah. Maybe I have not enabled Stevie's. I'll be surprised at that if I haven't. We'll do tomatoes then. Um, that swing, I'll have to have a check then. I'm surprised I've not done it. Stevie's wind turbine, his new ones. Them somewhere on the farm? Well, still got his old one as well. Let's see, sir. So let's get these, uh, these moved out. Oh, now you're going to need to hook up to that. Yeah, so why, I, why did I make the class Fent Colours? That's just suddenly entered my brain. Have a look then. At our beehives. Right, we need to bring some manure down here and some water. 
So we're going to need... Looks as good as anything at the minute. Manure we use. that much. <laughs> Do these actually fill properly? But you've got to be... Uh, look that steering axle off. That's giving me issues. Bingo. Oh, wait. That's my nerd up. Bring some water down now, fill them up with water. Rest of this back into the uh, storage silo. So they're both full. Our times. Can't open the doors, sadly. Oh, how 
come I don't have more? Because I could have sworn I had... Different animals altogether, these are. I think that's deformed the ground a bit. Be annoying if it has. Oh, it bloody has, lol. Um, you know what? We're going to sell that then. Bush. Looks like Shall we try that again? Hopefully this time about deforming all the land they're definitely the only two only ones I've got so I probably haven't enabled Stevie's mod I'm not gonna add those just yet actually I'll leave it as we are because we're at 58 minutes now so this video has gone on long enough so I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We've 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 made some money. We've sold our crops. Uh, we've got two new tractors. We've got some new placeables. We've got two beehives. Two uh, greenhouses. We've got a a wind turbine. <laughs> and uh, I've done some terraforming and terrain changes around the farm so uh yeah things are now moving forward we're gonna have like i say we've got enough money to buy a field and get a cotton harvester so that's something we can do or we'll be doing very shortly um like i say i need to get the uh, bga emptied of all the digest they get that brought down and uh either put in the silo or sold everything else is looking good I need to get some I need to get a trailer so that I can start making pig food lights on ready for night time love it Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Fenton Forest Farm with me, C1 Eso. If you've enjoyed the episode, please go ahead, click that like button, and remember to share the video wherever you see fit. Um, please leave any questions, comments, suggestions, or feedback in the section down below. And any channel subscribers watching the video are welcome to post their subscriber tasks or contracts for me in the uh, comment section down below. And if, of course, if you're new to the channel and you're not already a su subscriber, Go ahead, click that button right now. You will not regret it. And I'm just going to tidy up an area that I've missed. Mm -hmm.